is a resource management. Uh, this is uh, another very, very useful feature on the Gantt chart. So being able to run a project effectively doesn't just require insights into a timeline or uh, different phases of a project alone. It also requires that you keep track of the resources or uh, the people that are dedicated to that project. So uh, keeping track of their availability, their distribution across different projects, all of these are vital to ensure that uh, you, you avoid any delays in your current project or uh, you have failovers in place in case of uh, exigencies, right? And to this end, one of the abilities of the Gantt chart from XWIS is the option to use it as a Gantt resource chart as well. Now, this is still the same component, but you just need to head into the options and switch the type over to a Gantt resource. I've already got one set up for you on uh, Power BI and I can show you how it looks. But uh, before I do, uh, let me actually show you the data that uh, needs to go in there. Now, uh, you'll see that uh, it's not a whole lot different from what we have on the Gantt chart itself, right? I have a list of different projects, a list of different tasks within those projects uh, and the resource responsible for each of those tasks or those spaces. I actually have the planned uh, start and end and the actual start and end dates uh, for which those people are functioning and the durations. But it's important to note here, one of the primary differences between the Gantt resource chart and the Gantt chart is uh, the Gantt resource chart does not display two sets of timelines. So uh, it's not actually going to show you both the planned and the actual date. And it doesn't make sense because you know, for resource planning, it is planning. So you want the planned dates on there. So and that's what we're going to do in our case. Uh, in our chart, we're going to include the plan dates. I'm going to quickly switch back to Power BI and show you what this looks like. I've already got this configured for you, right? So there you go. Uh, we've got that data in there. Uh, switching the chart type is also fairly easy. So this is actually the Gantt chart here. Uh, when I navigate to the properties of the Gantt chart and go into the chart options, I have a chart type option there that allows me to switch between the Gantt and the Gantt resource. And this one here that you're seeing is the Gantt resource, right? I've already switched it over. I've configured the list of fields that go in. Uh, so the list of fields here are the projects, uh, the resources dedicated to those projects and the tasks that those resources are assigned to. Uh, I can always change the skew of this data, you know, for a different representation uh, to show you how tasks are uh, allotted for, sorry, how resources are allotted to different tasks instead. But you know, that's just uh, however you want to display this to your end users. And uh, just like the Gantt chart, we've set up a little bit of conditional formatting here. In, in fact, I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So let's say that uh, I'd like to depict any tasks or any, yeah, any tasks belonging to project cloud in a different color. I can actually set up a new rule based on that, right? So uh, I'll name this project cloud and then go in and say that the color for anything on project cloud is going to be in blue right this really doesn't matter because we're going to apply this based on a different i'm going to color the timeline bar right and uh, i'm going to say if the project is project cloud then this particular rule takes effect click on done there you have it so i have a little bit of conditional formatting there so when you are managing a large number of resources and they're mixed between different projects you know uh, these kind of uh, representations can really really uh, make things easier for you for resource planning right and you have a new format set up and a gantt chart with all the aspects that are good to go